guys welcome back to my channel i am pretty pumped up to be starting it up again um it has probably been a year since i've even put what the heck is this eyelash doing here hold on i'm like am i missing one this eyelash just appeared here so i'm like freaking out a little bit but okay um anyways back to what i was saying which i completely forgot what i was saying um yeah i'm pumped to start up i'm so pumped to start up my channel again and um I did learn so much more um, over the time that I wasn't doing YouTube. I feel like I got a little bit better and I also allowed myself to express myself a little bit more because I was a little afraid to be doing looks like the look like looks like these and going out in public and I still can't talk talk after a year. Um, but yeah guys, um, if you want to learn how I do this look, then stick around and watch. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the Glam Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I like to use this. Um, I got it for my birthday. I got a little mini bottle. But um, I like to use this because my skin is so dry. So it really helps out with that. Um, and I'm just going to rub that into my skin. Gosh, I am having such bad skin like school is about to start in like a month and I'm already stressing out about my grades and math and everything so uh, my face is just going through some pretty hard times right now. Mm, that smells so yummy. So now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty foundation that I whoa that I have been using since it was launched. I believe it was like last winter. Alright. I feel so weird doing this. Like honestly, I've I haven't done this in a long time. Uh 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 and I'm going to go in with my wet Morphe with my damp beauty sponge by Morphe. There, that makes more sense. And I'm just going to tap it into my skin. I honestly use more foundation than this, but um I guess it'll do. I could just add more later on if I think I need more. Now the shade, um, I've realized that it looks darker on my skin, um, but I don't know how it looks on camera, but um, it's it's pretty good shade. Like honestly, once I get my concealer on and everything, it's it pretty much blends into the color that my skin is, if that makes any sense, but yeah. I honestly suck at doing tutorials like I can't do them I suck at explaining like I just if I could just show you guys and not talk and say anything that would be pretty great I'm pretty sure I look so orange on camera but that is fine I've got my foundation on and stuff um, now I'm going to go in with the light neutral tart shape tape concealer <sighs> I said it good said it good I said it right okay the thing with this concealer is usually when I apply it and I don't blend it out right away it leaves marks that's just a personal problem that I'm having with this concealer but it, besides that it's a pretty good concealer but I'm going to go in and I'm just going to apply it to one eye first and then do the other and I'm going to blend it out with my Morphe spongy and sometimes I will bring that concealer up to my forehead just so that when I do apply concealer to my forehead it it's kind of already blended out and it, it'll like blend easier with the one that I'm going to apply to my forehead seriously I suck at explaining and doing tutorials this is a part of a this is why I didn't want to start YouTube because it's so hard for me to explain things and make sense and talk. Now I'm going to use my airspun powder. Um, it is in shade translucent, I believe. Um, 
you can get this at a drugstore it's pretty cheap this is how it looks like um it's just basically the only setting powder I have at the moment. Um, I used up my Kat Von D already. You're probably gonna think I'm so weird because you're supposed to go in. You're supposed to go in with um, your concealer and do that first, and then set your um, concealer. But I just do one at a time because if I don't, my concealer will start to crack up, which sucks like under my eyes so this is why I do one at a time first I'm just gonna do the other side and do exactly what I did on this eye And sometimes if I apply too much concealer on my eye, I will bring it down and apply it to the areas that I'm going to use it um, concealer on. And I also set the areas where I have applied concealer, so that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Goodness! Outer, like is suffocating me now for my nose I just apply um, concealer directly from my sponge sponge so now that my face is completely covered in freaking dust I'm just gonna wipe that thing off from my eyelids so that I can start applying my eyeshadow. Now, for this, I'm going to zoom a little bit closer so that you can really see what I'm doing in the eyes. I don't know why the heck I just went like that. So, um, my little sister was helping with my camera, so quick shout out to her. Um, I'm going to go in with my Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. It is Morphe combined, combined, collabed with Jeffrey, Jeffrey, sorry, what am I saying? With James Charles. I don't know if you can completely see the palette, but it is pretty beautiful. Um, they are well formulated colors. So I'm going to start off with the middle shade. They don't have any names, so... I'm just gonna go in with that shade and I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia um, brush that comes with like every single palette that you buy I just like using this because it really blends out your transition shade so I'm gonna go in with that and do that so I honestly don't know how the angle is looking right now, but I hope that you guys can really see what I'm doing. And I'm just blending that up my lid because it is my transition shade. I want it to basically take over my entire lid so that when I apply the other colors, it looks like it's blended and not just like harsh, like bam, there's this color, bam, there's another color. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Now, personally, I like doing um, like Basically what I do to one eye, I do it to the other right away because I don't like getting my brush dirty and applying color and doing one eye first than the other. I don't know, it's just the way I work. And I'm and I'm really blending out those corners because um, I don't want any harsh harshness. Okay. So now that I added that shade, I'm going to grab a different brush because brush because this is going to be my transition color brush. Da, 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 da. Let me find one. So now I'm going to use my Morphe M518 brush that looks like this, obviously. Um, but I'm going to grab this shade and I am going to apply it right on my 
on the crease of my lid. Okay, except I didn't really dip it in there, so. So I'm just applying it to my eye, to the crease of my lid. I'm being careful not to mix it in with the other shade that I applied, my transition shade. Um, so that you can really see that transition. Now I'm going to use my damp um, brush, which is a Morphe M421 brush. Now it is damp. Um, you can use like Max, Max, Mac Fix Plus, or you could just grab some water, dip it in there, damp it up a little bit, and it'll work the same. Go in with my brush on that pink shade right there. And I'm going to apply it to my lid. What? Lexi is soaking wet. I'll be back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, continuing what I was doing, I'm just going to put that on my lid right there and basically I'm gonna do sort of a half cut crease not all the way okay so I went ahead and did the other eye now I'm just going to apply the black eyeshadow that is in the palette it looks like a mess right now but I promise that the end result will be so much better once you have everything you know like blended and all that stuff um so I'm going to go in with the black that is in the the palette. Now I'm just going to apply it to the crease. Oh man, that's pretty black. Black is like such a dangerous color. You have to be like super careful what you do with it because girl, you can mess up your entire makeup. Okay, so I do have another brush um, that is by Anastasia, and um, I'm just going to start blending what I have already applied because I don't want to go in directly and apply so much black and then not be able to blend it out, if that um, makes sense. so scary doing this right now is honestly the scariest thing I've ever done I don't know why I'm so scared to do this look like I did it yesterday but today I'm like trying to be so precise that when like I try to have everything be like perfect and everything that's when I mess up so please forgive me if I do I'm going to drag it into the inner corner of my eye right there Okay, now this is the time when I'm going to go back in with the other color that I used before that. Um, and I'm going to use that to um, blend it out a little bit more. Okay, now that I've got that eye all blended out and stuff, um, I'm going to go in and do the other eye. So now I'm going to go back in with the pink and shape up my cut crease a little bit. It's not meant to be perfect, but... Um, I just do want it to have like sort of a little cut crease. So usually what I start to do after that, I start to blend it out with the leftover pink on my eyelid, on my eyelid, on my brush. Sorry it's really loud in the background, but my little sister has her friends over and stuff. But now that the eyeshadow is um, complete and stuff, I'm going to go in with the glitter. It is the um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in, well, in distortion. And I'm just going to apply that where the pink is at. Okay, so I've got my glitter applied on and stuff. And I'm going to dust off the um, translucent powder with this e.l.f. brush. So 
So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate um, Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my cheeks. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't talk when I was doing that, but basically I intensify it on the top and on the towards the bottom of my cheek I press very lightly and I barely even add any. And I bring it up under my eyes just because that um, translucent powder is a little too light on my um, skin at the moment because it is summer and it gets so dark in the summer. So now that I did that, I'm going to go in my forehead and I'm going to apply some bronzer up there too. Just so that my forehead doesn't look so, um, un <laughs> so that it doesn't look so white and, um, also to like add some definition to my face and because I do have a big forehead, it helps a little bit, just, just a tiny bit, but it helps. Now we're on the last few steps here. Um, I'm going to go in with an elf brush and I'm just going to bronze up the side of my nose. And I'm making sure to blend that out so that it doesn't just look like wha-bam. So I've got my nose all contoured up and I'm just gonna, whoa! My shirt is officially now so, so dirty. Now, <laughs> oh, sorry, there are so many steps. Um, now I'm just gonna go in back with my um, translucent powder and I'm going to carve out my cheeks. much powder okay so now I'm just gonna <laughs> blend that out and I am kind of going to bring it up towards where um, I br br uh, where I blonde I bronzed my cheeks and I just dusted it off so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia glow kit um, E Voy a aplicarme, I'm going to apply um, this shade right here, which is snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay, that was dumb, but whatever. So I'm just going to highlight woo, my cheeks. I went off camera and I did my brows because I feel like this video is already long enough and that could be a different video. If you guys are interested, you guys could just let me know um, and ask and you shall receive. Um, so I'm going to go in and finish up highlighting because I did not finish. Where the heck is my highlighting palette now? Now I'm going to go in and highlight my nose um, and my chin and all that stuff. My chinny chin chin and my whatever this is, cubic spell I believe, I'm not sure. So now I gotta do lashes which is the most hardest and annoying thing in the world. I'm obviously gonna do off camera because that's gonna take me like another hour and this I've been here for like what three hours already so now I'm all done applying my lashes um and for the last piece of this look I am going to um go back in with this color and I'm going to apply it to the bottom of my eyelid <laughs> eyelid to the bottom piece of my eye 
I'm gonna do my lips um, and apply some lippies and shape that up and that's also a really long 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 tutorial so I'm just gonna skim through it all right so my lippies are all done and now I am going to just finish everything off with adding um, mascara on my bottom lashes all right and now that I've done that I'm going to go in with my Tatcha Illuminous Dewy Skin Mist which is my absolute fave um, so basically what it does is it like ties your whole makeup in and brings it to life it makes it look very 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 wet and very like sweaty you could say but I love that look because my face is so dry that it like melts everything together and it's like whew, beautiful and then <laughs> Oh, I just ate that. <clears throat> um, then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So yeah guys, that is the end of this look. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I hope that um, I didn't disappoint you guys with the quality or my personality or... Um, oh, bless you, Blixie. Or um, anything else. Um, I am completely being myself. You can see a huge difference since the first video that I posted and the video that I'm going to post now. I mean, I'm still myself, but I feel like I've become more of myself um, during this year. Um, but yeah, guys, please like, subscribe, and share this video. I did mention something about a giveaway, and um, that might be in my next video. It's all depending on when I get around to ordering it. Um, I wanted to give away my favorite palette, but um, I feel like the Volt collection is really cute too. Like, I want to test it out and try it out, so depending on that, I might be giving out one or two palettes um, by Jacqueline. Um, so we'll see. It all depends. It all depends. Bear with me on that and uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway. So I'm not lying to you guys. <laughs> okay, bye. And this is Blixie. She's a new little... Oh, don't like my makeup. Um, She's my new little baby. I got her um, a couple... Oh, probably like two months ago maybe um or I don't know but I got her in June I can't remember when oh, she's so adorable she's a toy poodle um she's my baby like literally when I say she's my baby she's my baby like literally treat her like my baby buy her everything I got her a little dress but she is sort of like chunky so um it didn't fit her and I had to return it. She's falling asleep on me. Um, I literally woke her up just to introduce you. Introduce her to you guys. But she probably has to go potty. Gotta go take you out to go potty, huh, my baby? Yeah?